Good morning fellow option traders. This is Jeff and welcome to the Daily Scan for Monday, June 2nd, 2014. Well, uh, announcement wise, it's sort of going to be a little bit busier than last week, I think. For today, we have PMI Manufacturing Index, ISM Manufacturing Index, and constru Construction Spending all coming out after the market opens today. Last week, um, last Friday, we had a couple of announcements. None of them were uh, exactly earth-shaking or market-shaking. Um, I believe that one of them was uh, consumer confidence and it, it was down slightly, but not probably unexpected. Okay, let's take a look across the ponds in Asia. We are mostly bullish, I would say, across the board, flat to bullish. I would call this flat. And in Europe, uh, looking pretty much the same, flat to cautiously optimistic, I guess you could call that. All right, let's close this up. Okay, so uh, next thing that jumps out at, at us here is the results, and I have the results for the last two weeks, the week ending at 24th and the week ending last Friday the 30, well, Saturday is the 31st, but yeah, ending uh, Saturday the 31st. And here is the tally for May, 18 winners and 10 losers. Year-to-date, 44 winners and 29 losers. And the May P&L is $327. Took a big hit the last couple of weeks here. And the reason is, and I'm, this is not an excuse, but an analysis on what happened, what went wrong. Uh, the reason is the 20 delta trades. For instance, here we have, well, this is a Visa, so this is not a 20 delta. SPX, this is a 20 delta. NDX and RUT were all 20 delta trades. Those were the big hitters for the last two weeks as far as losers are concerned. A couple of winners here, uh, Igor and Costco. Although it didn't make a whole heck of a lot on Costco, at least we made something. And that helped us a little bit. So what, let's take a look at a chart on NDX. There we go. Here's a chart on NDX. <clears throat> All right. So we had a trade previous to this that we exited early. This arrow here is telling us this is the date that we exit. Um, and I did exit this early for a nice little profit. Let me take a look back here. Yeah, here it is right here. We exited early. It was a May 4 expiration, which was this week's expiration. We exited the week before for a 60 cent profit. Uh, so that one was okay, but here is our entry um, on this particular day on this candle right here. So it's, it's a legitimate entry. No, I guess it's not. It was not a legitimate entry. It should not have entered this trade. And regardless, the next day we get a huge surge, big long candle here the next day. We're still green. We were red on entry on the MACD, the confirmation, but our trigger here that tells us to get in was not there for us. And so that was a bad trade to get into, and we did not get out until the pain was complete. <laughs> so here's the deal. If you're doing a 5 to 1 risk reward trade, 
you're putting a lot at risk and if it goes against you you're gonna get fried so this has an expiration of this Friday I don't know if it's gonna come down but we're out of it we took our lumps we got out of it on this candle should have gotten out on this candle and that's the reason why I threw this line in here was to just to show you that um, if nothing else bad entry get out the next day okay got that all right the other one we wanted to look at uh, is rut okay so um, yeah I was actually thinking of doing a bear call here but the trade did not execute so I'm just leaving that up there okay so here's a story here on Russell uh, this was the day that we entered and that was a good entry because we had read and we had read and the next day uh, we were still good although um, MACD was green so that's kind of like hmm that could be a problem and then the third day on day number three where I have this line drawn here this was the day to get out we never even came down here and completed this cycle so uh, we could have gotten out who knows at that point it could have been flat to maybe even slightly profitable and it certainly would have saved us a couple hundred bucks for sure how much would it have saved us Russell is over here uh, yeah could have saved us hundreds of dollars and losses so I need to not just let these things float especially when there's that much on the line when there's a couple thousand dollars in risk in this particular trade fortunately um, I did get out but I didn't get out until the pain was almost complete and that was on 527 which is right here and then it just uh, was adding a little bit of negative data here as it um, churns and goes sideways so um, the pain was complete here and that's when I got out so lesson learned and that's what we're all here for is to learn now I uh, paid a lot of tuition for that lesson <laughs> if you know what I mean so overall uh, we're still not doing too bad we're up twenty three hundred dollars um, gross but net approximately twenty two thousand two hundred and forty dollars and this spreadsheet is up posted up on my blog in the downloads page um, Let's see what else. I have a new, the new A plus list that I just put up there yesterday as well. So if you need to download that, you can do that. And that is exportable into um, your uh, watch list. That is, uh, you can straightly, straightly <laughs> um, export it without much ado right into your list. Alright, I'm going to close this down here. Okay, um, looking at futures here in the U.S., uh, looks like they're going to be a positive opening. Gold is solidly below 1250 and silver is at 1877. Oil is at 103.12. It's still just kind of uh, hanging out up there um, let's see what else can we get from this probably nothing else much from an account perspective we have um, looks like a bull put on Boeing a bear call on CVX and a bull put on TLT just going by the Delta here and they're doing they're all doing fine for right now so let's jump over to the A-plus list and get going with that. 
Yes, and finally the coffee is tasting pretty good this morning. I like that. Okay, Apple. Let's go to the Analyze tab. I'll just check to see if we have positions on that. Of course we don't. I just like to throw the Analyze tab up there in case we do have a position. We can take a look at what it's doing. Now I talked about Apple on Friday as a um, possible day trade. I didn't take it. Um, and probably a good thing that I did not because it pulled back in the afternoon. Uh, and let's see here. Okay, so what else is going on with Apple? Well, um, we may be getting an entry coming up here in the next couple of days. That's all I can really say about it. Not sure how this is going to affect anything. You know, as a matter of fact, I don't think I even want to be an Apple when it splits. <laughs> so uh, I'm going to take this target off of here. Just because the split is happening on 6-9, which is next week. I just don't even want to be at uh, So let's just take a pass on that. For now, we're going to leave it on the A-plus list, too, just because Apple is so much fun to trade. Okay, looking at Amazon, um, ew. if anything, this might be a 20 Delta candidate, but there's some mixed signals going on here, so we're just going to stay away from Amazon for right now. Boeing, we are in it to win it expiration this week and it looks like it might be wanting to roll over so let's take a look here we're at seven and a half cents so we can't get out of this for free yet maybe in the next maybe later today or tomorrow provided Boeing doesn't pull back we may be able to get out so again New highs here, high, higher, 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 it's just barely higher. <laughs> so um, we're just going to hang in there on that one. For now, Baidu. Okay, we're down here at our target. This is a setup. So this is a new trend, so be careful hasn't really proven itself yet. This is really the first half cycle of the new trend. The full cycle, we'd want it to come up and go completely back down again. So this is um, a slightly early entry on this. Just be careful about it. Celgene we have a target down here. Looks like we're uh, headed towards it. Patience, patience, patience. Chipotle um, doesn't want to come down here to our target. <laughs> so we're going to have to slide this over a little bit. I think we're going to need a rather sharp pullback in order to get this down again. Looks like it's uh, might be running out of a little bit of gas here as you can tell by this particular candle Oop, what the heck what the heck happened here I don't know what happened um, okay Chipotle I was talking about Chipotle wasn't I <laughs> um, Looks like it's kind of running out of gas here. I don't know if we're going to get a new trend out of this or not. Looking at the EMA, um, we are in a new trend, but the SMA not giving it to us at this point. So we're still looking for a target down here. Patience. Costco. Um, just got out of one last week. We had a good one on that. I closed it. I think I closed it on Friday just to make sure it uh, didn't give me a hundred percent profit but pretty darn close to it and 
so we're still wiggling around here. Not really sure exactly which way we're headed here after their earnings. So, um, I have to say that we are in an uptrend as weak as it might be. So we're going to throw a, a target in down here. Let's get our target up here. And I'm going to make this a 20 delta target. Just because the trend is not very strong. Okay. Next up is CVX. We are in CVX. Let's see here on our shorts where we're at. We're at three and a half cents. I am going to exit CVX today. No use in uh, giving up any profit here if I can help it. What's CVX looking like here? Hmm. Had a big close Friday after hours some trading for uh, an hour. Oh, let's see here. Yeah, I'm going to have to get out of it today. I hope I can still, it's still under a nickel. Uh, that the shortest remains under a nickel. So I can get out for free. As, at least as far as commissions are concerned. Yes. Uh, DIA, let's take a look at the Dow. Okay, we're very close to a possible new high here. And we may come up there and touch it. Give us maybe a double top here. And pull back for those uh, 30 industrial stocks. We'll see. Igor, um, we did have a successful trade on it. Yeah, I remember getting out on this Friday when the price was up. And now we have another target set down here for a 20 delta. Um, I don't know why I would say 20 delta here. This is a pretty strong trend. So I'm going to change this over to... And white. And say OK. Alright, so now we're just waiting for it to come down and give us an entry. FedEx. Same thing. We're looking for an entry here. I think you can double click these, I'm not sure. I'll try it on the next one, F5 Networks. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. We're in a downtrend here. Alright, that'll let me edit it. Um, this is really confusing. <laughs> it's just like, okay, which way are you headed here? We have uh, EMA headed up and SMA headed down. Um, we could be looking at a 20 delta here on F5. And I would be looking to do, um, to condorize this by doing a bear call now and a bull put when it comes down here and gives us our target. Let's look at what kind of range we can get here. Um, oh, we don't have... I don't know, what the heck? We don't have uh, multiple weeklies here listed. So we have the regular expiration. Where can we get something here at 115? Which is pretty far up there. 115. Let's see what kind of credit we can get here. We get 49 cents out of a five dollar spread and that's we would be looking for a dollar 
So this is not all that attractive. This is giving us a 10 to 1 risk reward, not a 5 to 1. And why do we think it's doing it? Well, because its IV percentile is 3, and the IV is only 29. That's why. So we're going to take a pass on that as far as the 20 delta is concerned, at least on the bear call side. And we'll look at a bull put when the time comes here. Uh, just not, I don't want to go out to July. Just uh, takes data is too slow. I don't want to go out there. So it just takes so long for it to give us any money. All right, so gold. Oh, oh, oh. Um, severely depressed. I don't even want to look at that. Google. What do we got here? We have a potential trade coming up. We'll keep an eye on that. We're looking for a bull put here. Uh, just because the EMA is pretty strong and it just crossed the SMA. Stop it. Okay. That one's got to simmer a while longer. Put it in the old crock pot and wait to see what happens. Uh, did we miss one on this? On LinkedIn? That's a good thing. Yeah, because we had a violation here and now we have another violation. So we have to pretty much start from scratch on LinkedIn again. LinkedIn again? Unless, you know, you want to see if you can pull a 20 delta out of the hat. IV percentile is 26 and IV is 39. If we were to do a 20 delta with a June expiration, uh, we don't have anything in here. These $5 spreads are killers to get us this right delta here. So let's look at June 2. These are $2.50 spreads. Here's a 21 delta. And that would be $0.36 cents on $2.50. We would be really looking for $0.50 cents on this. And, you know, that's like uh, maybe. Maybe. That's at 170 So we would be up here. Doesn't excite me very much. Not interested in a 20 delta on that. 170 is just a little bit too tight for my taste. I would much rather go for a momentum trade with a 50 delta. Um, we have some, uh, dang it, we have some violations here. But we have a, a good solid move down. I'm going to put an alert on this. There's some violations in here. But I'm putting an alert on it anyway. Because if it moves down, oops, um, might be interested in getting in it on this. So we have an alert on LinkedIn. Now, just to let you know that we're bending the rules here, but there's good momentum here to the downside on the uh, on the stochastic and the MACD. So that is promising. I should just get rid of these lines. I don't even look at them anymore. I can. Here's the way to get rid of it. Oops. I picked the wrong one. Sorry about that. There. That's how you get rid of it. <sighs> okay. So, yeah. I don't look at the average. I'm just more interested in the diff. So here we are. I uh, could get rid of this one too.
Yep, there we go. Okay. If I don't look at them, I have them there to distract me. Keep it simple. All right, so here we are. I'm going to save this study. One to five, dark to say, okay, yes. All right, so the study is now saved. And I can save the style with the study. Include study set and say okay. And now we're all set to go. There, I just cleaned it up a little bit. All right, so we're here at LinkedIn. We have an alert, 3M. Uh, we're waiting for this to stew a little while longer to give us an entry. NDX. I'll clean these up later. I will leave these in, but I will clean this other stuff that I used later. All right, we're waiting for an entry down here on NDX. Netflix. Uh, waiting for an entry here too. Slide this over. It's on a tear. It's on a tear. Uh, Priceline also was on a tear. It may come over here and give us an entry. We shall see. Time will tell. Russell. Russell. Russell, Russell. Okay, uh, we have... Oh, man. A possible entry coming up soon on the Russell. And that would... All these cash indexes are always going to be 20 deltas. Same thing with uh, SPX. Waiting for our entry. TLT. Do we have a new opportunity in TLT? Coming up. We're in an uptrend. And we have one possible entry coming up. Tesla. Ooh, we're very close to a setup. And last but not least is Visa. We're waiting for a setup on it, anticipating this new trend. All right, so that is it for today. Uh, kind of a busy video here. So I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and happy trading. Thank you.